last day we have learned how to uh, design a different type of flip flops say the d flip flops rs flip flop the jk flip flop and what is their problem or what is the, what are the advantages and disadvantages of different type of flip flops now today we will see how um, the more complex sequential circuits can be designed using the different type of flip flops now these um, more complex sequential circuits they contain mainly the resistors and counters shifters mainly the storage elements uh, so first we see the design of resistors and counters in this lecture uh, before that uh, we quickly uh, see the answers of the uh, quiz questions based on the lecture 21 and 22. Now, the first question was the how one bit memory element is formed by inverter nor gate NAND gate. We have read in the last lecture that the one bit memory element that is by using inverter one NAND gate and if it is cascaded with another inverter that means one NOT gate and another NOT gate. So, if one is given as the input then then this uh, 0 is there and then again by using this this one that means if this is my data again this becomes my data and this is fed back as the so this is the simple by using the not get then using the nor get we have seen the two cascaded nor So, actually this input is coming from here so this is the RSP plug and we have seen the functional tables of these two that q and q bar similarly the the using JK flip uh, using the NAND gate also we have seen that only the inputs can be inverted that means R bar and S bar then we replace the if we replace the two nor uh, by NAND two input NAND then it will be same. So, these are the different type of circuits we have seen. Now, what is the difference between flip flop and a latch? The second question. So, again, uh, normally we have defined the latch is not a clocked circuit. Latch is not clocked. whereas the flip flop is clocked but in real life for real 
circuits sometimes that level sensitive latch is called a latch and flip flop is a edge triggered if you consider that flip flop is is h triggered so mainly these are the basic differences between latch and uh, flip flop. Now, the third question was what are setup time and hold time why they are important. Now, as we have already read the setup time is the time during which the data on input D must be kept constant so before the clock changes. And the hold time. So, first if we think the setup time, setup time the input signal must be held at D input line before the clock changes. So, this is my setup time. So, mainly here the before the clock changes and if it is hold time then already we have seen that it is the same thing that that input on D line must be held before the this is before the if it is before the clock changes then it is setup time if it is after the clock changes then it is hold time after the clock changes. So, this is after the clock changes. So, why it is important because if within this time that means within this setup time or within this whole time the input changes then our output will be erroneous. So, main thing is that output is not or output is erroneous. So, mainly this is the this is the problem. Okay. So, now we start the 
design of complex memory elements. Now, as already we have seen the flip flop is the single 1 bit memory element or primitive sequential circuits are the different type of flip flops we have seen. Now, the resistors and counters are more complex sequential building blocks. Now, to design simple sequential circuits first we see the counters and the mainly what we will discuss in this lecture that problems and pitfalls when working with counters and mainly the startup time or the asynchronous versus synchronous logic. Now, say the registers. So, this is a storage unit and can hold an n bit value. So, first we will see that how or 1 bit memory element means 1 bit flip flop. So, how that n bit storage element can be constructed from this 1 bit memory element. So, this is nothing but a, it can be composed of a group of n flip flops and each flip flop stores 1 bit information. So, this together it will store a n bit information. Now, any type of flip flop can be used, but normally d flip flop is used. So, first we will study the, the complex circuits with different type of flip flops, but which one is better for implementation for of real life circuits that we will see later. Now, first is registers. So, see if we see this is a uh, d flip flop we have seen. So, already we have read the d flip flop this is the input line this is q the output line and there is another input that is the clock that is the clock. So, this is 1 bit this is the 1 bit memory element. So, if we consider this is 1 bit memory element. Now, similarly if we put another 3 that means, this is another d input q output clock c we are taking the same clock and so now c together that means if it is a if this is a 4 bit if this is a this is a 4 bit then it must store the 4 bit value or 4 bit information can be stored. Then we are calling that this is a 4 bit register. So, if 4 d flip flops are cascaded 4 d flip flops are cascaded then it forms a 4 bit registers. So, now we see that just now what we have seen a common clock now we add one clear line also that means as it is a memory it is a, so one 4 bit storage again if we if we want to reuse this thing then we will clear this and a new value can be stored in this uh, register but this is only a 4 bit value can be stored so just now what we have seen that so, this is a this is my 1 d flip flop, this is 1 d flip flop, this is 1 d flip flop and this is. So, 4 d flip flop. Now, clock is 
this is the clock line. So, one common clock line is there and here it has a fit to 4 D flip flops. Another clear line, so this is the this is the clear this is the clear line. So, again it is a common clear line and it is fed to the 4 d flip flops. Now, for each d flip flop there is so if this is d 0, d 1, d 2, d 3 then this is my d input. So, 1 d 0 similarly this is d 1, d 2, and d 3 4 inputs are there this is the clock line clock line is here so the two inputs one clock and one data one clock and one data and this is the clear lines this is the power line and four outputs are as this is q0 q1 q2 and q3 so it forms a 4 bit 4 bit registers four bit registers now this type of chips are available so this is one uh, example that the chip what is available see this is a um, 16 uh, pin chip this is a ttl 74171 quad d type flip flop that means here that four d type flip flops are available and there is co two common lines the here this is a clock and this is clear normally they are pin 12 and pin 13 and the four inputs are four inputs are d0 d1 d2 and d3 at the lines pin numbers are 11 5 4 and 14 and the outputs that these are q0 is pin pin number is 15 and this is q0 bar ok. So, this is 1 similarly this is q1 3 q2 bar 2 q2 6 q2 bar 7 q3 10 and q3 bar 9 so this is one one real life uh, four bit d flip flops that quad d type flip flops one thing is that here this chip can be used for one bit can be used for two bit three bit or four bit okay then uh, accordingly we will select the q0 q1 q2 or q3 or together now how we uh, construct a shift register see uh, now we consider a shift register with jk flip flops so there are four flip flops we have taken this is the first one that say q0 say we take or this one is our the first one 1 2 3 4 and here the power lines the common power lines are there this is a reset line because it is a jk so 
reset lines. Now, this is the ship line, shipped. Okay. And see, this is a shift from left flip flop to right flip flop on every 0 to 1 that means, low to high transition of the shift clock. So, when this shift clock say when here this shift line there will be a clock and when it will be in the rising edge that means, 0 to 1 this is the this is the edge trigger. So, this is a as this is a flip flop. So, this will be a edge trigger and this is a rising edge trigger. So, that time it will be shifted every flip flop will shift one bit to its right that means, it is a left to right shifter. And another is the wrap around connection from rightmost flip flops to leftmost one. See here this is a this is a this is the wrap around version. See this is the last output or the if we call the four flip flops then the last output of the fourth one is taken as the input of the first one. So, this is a wrap around fashion or sometimes we call the periodic boundary. So, the connection has been taken like that. Now, if we consider the uh, timing diagram. then timing diagram of see this is the shift clock. So, this is my clock. Then the four outputs q 1, q 2, q 3. See that q 1 this is at the high to low because q 1 becomes 1 and this becomes 0 when it is a that means, again when it is a high to low it will be getting a 1. Now, again q 2, q 2 will be taking q 2 is that uh, just the reverse of the q 1. If we take q 1 as the clock that means, the timing of q 1 and q 2 are the reverse. Then q 3, again q 3 will be that first q 1 as if q 1 if this is my 1 value then q 1 is shifted here and then q 2 is shifted this shifted here and q 4 when this is it is shifted here. So, if we uh, see the shifting, this will be like that. See the Q1 or Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So, initially. if it is say 1 1 was here 0 then one shift it will be here then 
this is a 0. Then for another shift this 0 will come here, 1 will be here, 0 will be here again this will be 0 for another shift it will be here this will be here and this one will be here. So, in this way that means and this shift means this is a this is a shift clock. So, this will be every time this will be shift clock. So, this will be the timing diagram. Now, if we see the counters, now a counter we can define in this way the counter is a degenerate finite state machine where the state is the only output. So, there is no other primary output from this machine. So, we counter is defined like that. Now, it proceeds through a well defined sequence of steps in responses to count signal. So, it is defined that as if it counts and a predefined sequences or or we can tell the well defined sequences are there and the with the count signal we it will give that sequences. So, a fixed number of counts the circuit or a fixed number of sequences it will generate and that will be the direct measure of the count and that is why the name is the counter. So, normally we will see that 3 bit up bit counter or down counter it can be n bit n bit counter and what do we mean by up bit means it is a increasing sequences. So, if we consider 0 1 2 binary 0 0 0 0 0 1 like that then it will be a 3 bit counter. Similarly, down counter means it starts from 7 and then 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and again it will repeat repeat the initial states. So, it will be again the uh, 3 bit down counter or other counters the binary counters the BCD gray coat counters. So, these these are the different of type of counters are normally uh, constructed by using the flip flops different type of flip flops. So, uh, if we see the one design of one 3 bit up counter. So, 3 bit up counter. So, say uh, one machine we have already one machine with the flip flops then these are my uh, present the C B A as if these are my present state. These are my present states. And this C plus B plus A plus these are my next state, these are my next state and we will be seeing that this T C T B T A as if if we consider the T flip flops then these are the outputs of the flip flops. Now, as it is a 3 bit up counter, so this 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 that we are considering that means, 0 1 0 1 2 3 up to 7. Now, when it is 0 0 0 the I want that next state should be 0 0 1. See here I want this should be my next state again the next state should be the this one in this way it will work. So, we have to construct a machine so that the if the present state is C B A then the next state will be C plus B plus A plus that means, uh, the increment of 1 in that way. So, what we will be doing this is nothing but a truth table and as there are 3 inputs. So, we will we can uh, form three kernel maps. Now, see if we consider the T a that means 
C. C. If we consider the this output, the Carnot map for this, Carnot map for Carnot map for this output T, then C. Uh, every time, whatever be the inputs, whatever be the uh, present state that this value outputs are T a value is 1. So, what will be the thing? If we put the value, then this kernel map, this value will be all 1. Now, if, if we put the for the see for the T B C whenever A is 0 T B value is 0. See A is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 and see here T B value is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1. That means, whenever a is 0, t b is 0 and here c b r that will be the all possible c b values we are taking. Now, if we consider t c then actually the t c value is when this is 0 1 or, or if we consider that 0 0 0 or it will be 2 ones when a is 1 both the cases a is 1, these are the cases that a is 1 and then T c is 1, here another a is 1, T c is 1 and that time C b value is 0 1 and here C b value is 1 1. So, now if we consider then already we have seen the T a that this will be all one that means, whatever be the present states these are all ones. Now, here we have seen whenever a is 1 C b is 1, but whenever a is 0 C b value is 0. Here we have seen that when a is 1, but C b is 0 1 and 1 1 that time only it is other 1 otherwise it is 0. So, what we get that T a is 1, T b is a and T c is a dot b because these are my these are the two values. So, 0 1 1 1 means a a and this is b. So, this is T c is a dot b. So, what uh, from the Carnot map what we get that T a equal to 1, we get T a equal to 1, T b equal to a and T c is a b. So, now if we see the design, if we see the design then see that first we have taken 3 t flip flops, here we have constructed the logic circuit by T flip flop. Then C as usual the reset lines and the clock lines are there. Then Q a value here the Q a value is always 1. So, this is my this is my T a value or the first one C the Q a is a means the previous input and Q c see this is my this is my a and this is my b. So, this is my a dot b and that is my Q c. So, that Q a is 1 Q b is a and Q c is a b. So, this will give a if we 
Now, if we just uh, allow to run this circuit or apply the clock, then at each clock passes it will generate the 0 0 0, then next clock pass it will give 0 0 1, it will give 0 1 0, 0 1 1, 1 0 0 1, 1 1 0 1, 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 and again 0 0 0. So, that means it will count only the this 3 bit. So, this is a 3 bit counter, this is a 3 bit counter that means all 0 to 1 1 1 that means this 8 bit it will measure. So, that is why it is a 3 bit counter using T flip flops. Now, if we consider the design of counters with different type of flip flops. So, different counters can be implemented based with different flip flops. Now, it is not the case that always T flip flop is chosen or the D flip flop is chosen. So, depending on the uh, behavior of the counters, we have to choose the flip flop. Now, the steps of designing a counter is that first we will build state diagram. That means, what will be the present state and what will be the build state diagram depending on the present state and the next state present and next state. Then we will build the state transition table, then build next state k map, because if it is a state transition table is given that means, this is my uh, truth table that if this is the present state this will be my next state and next state is the only output we have defi uh, uh, defined the counter in that way. So, that will be my output. So, input and output is given means uh, that is similar to my truth table. So, this state transition table is nothing but my truth table. Then I will map this truth table by our known Carnot map method and then implement the next state function with different flip flops. So, again we see a design of 5 state counter with R s flip flop. So, here it is a 5 state only and we have taken uh, random 5 states. So, in this example we have taken uh, 0 uh, 1 0 2 0 1 0 3 then 5 6 7 5 6 this again 0 because these are my 5 state. So, this is a 5 state counter. One thing is that as it is a 5 state, so in any case we need 3 bit. So, this is another thing that how many flip flops we need. So, log if it is a uh, uh, if it is a n state counter then log n flip flops are needed. So, as it is a uh, 5 state flip flop, so that means ceiling of log 5 that means this is a 3 bits are needed for that. So, now here we have seen that um, or if we draw the present state and next state. So, this is my present state or we can tell that input also and these are my next state. See, this is a when it is 0 0 0, I want 2, I want the next state should be 2. So, if it is 1, see we have not considered the 1 as the state. So, I do not want any output for this, that is why it is undefined type of thing, any type it can be. Now, if it is a 2, I want 3. So, for 0 1 0 the state will be for 0 0 0 it, it will be 2 for 0 1 0 it will be 3 for 3 it will be 5 4 is again undefined for 5 it should be 6 for 6 I want the next state should be 0 because this is a 5 state I do not want all 1. So, see here 
this 0 0 1 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 means my decimal 1 4 and 7 these states are are not defined in this machine. So, now it is a remapped next state because these are my present state these are my next state. So, now again the three flip flops and we here in this design we consider the three RS flip flops. So, uh, C B A if we consider we consider that this is a 0 1 0. So, that means this is S C 0 1 and 0. Similarly, for 0 1 1 I want uh, I want that 0 1 1. Okay. So, this should be okay, this should be anything, this can be 1 0 1 1. Similarly, 1 0 1, I want 1 0 1, I it can be 1 1 0 for and say the, for this, these are all not defined. Okay, this can be 1 this can be 1, this is 0 and so on, this is 0, 0, 0. So, see what we have done that we have some first that given the uh, um, uh, number of states or the given states that we have considered these 5 states, what should be the next state that state transition table we have drawn from there depending on the flip flops we want to use we have remapped the next state. So, this is one very important thing. So, this is as if the, the original next state and depending on the flip flop we used the remapped next state is the this thing. That means, what will be the output of the flip flops this is uh, this table governs the outputs of that thing. Now, we know the R s table and that is q plus, q plus is s plus r bar q or if we consider the um, function table of the R s table, we know that this will be the if q is 0, r is not defined, s is 0, q is 0, then this is 0 1, 1, then r is 1, q is 1, then it will be 0. So, depending on that, now we will get the as for the three flip flops and now there are uh, two outputs r and s so for the c flip flops what will be the rcsc for the c b flip flop what will be the rbsb and for a what will be the rasa so the based on the the remapped next step that Carnot maps have been filled up. Now, if that we do that Carnot map minimization, we will be getting that this type of logics. We will be getting the R c equal to a bar, S c is a because this must be the uh, complemented. Then R b is a b plus b c, s b is b bar, r a is c and s a is b c bar. So, now if we uh, start drawing, so first we need three R s flip flops. So, this is one, actually this is my C. 
this is q bar so this should be a bar this should be my a this is the b b bar c and this is a and c the clock line is these are the so this is the clock or we can tell this is my this is my count because at each clock it will uh, generate one state that means it will one one count will be going on so this is my this output is my rb this is my b bar and this is my a b c now what we have seen that this is the b and this is a the q q bar so first thing is that r b is what we have seen that r b is a c a plus c and that means b into a plus c that means a b plus a c and this is my R B. Okay. Now, S A is S A is B C bar. So this will be my this will be my S A. So this is says if this is my essay this is my r b so as if this is my r b So, this type of and uh, this is my C, okay, this is my R B, this is my B and this is my B bar. So, we will be getting this circuit. So, now if this is that these are all R S flip flop that means the two inputs are there R S and two outputs Q Q bar and then will be extra logic that we need that are that are this B into A B plus A C that means this uh, two gates for R B these are here there are two gates and here there is for S A there is one and get that is needed. So, see here that we need three, three extra gets, three logic gets. 
in addition with the 3 flip flops, 3 RS flip flops, we need 3 uh, gates and that is number of literals. So, if we consider see here the literals, then actually see that A bar and then B bar, C bar that means for R C S C R B S B R A and S A and for just to get R B and to uh, S A we have need uh, 3 gates. Now, the same logic if we uh, um, if we want to implement or the same uh, counter with JK flip flop. The same counter then the circuit will be say again we have taken that 0, 0, 2, 3, 5, 6 and then again 0 that means again 5 step counter. So, we take the 5 step counter. Then see the again this we can put this we can put as the present state and similarly this is my next state and this is my remapped remapped next state this is my remap next step. So, similar way because these are the same, same as that of RS. Only this remapped next step that will be different for JK flip flops. And now, if we do using this flip flops that do the design, then we will be getting the functions from the K map at that J c equal to A, then K c is A bar A bar, J b is 1, K b is A plus c, J a is B c bar and K is c. So, c here I need one gate here to get K b, one or gate here we need actually two gate one and and one inverter or if we take the C bar as the literal, then we take only one and get here. So, here we need only two gates, whereas in uh, RS flip flop the design with the RS flip flops we, we have needed three gates, three lo extra logic gates. So, if we consider the um, thing, see here K B is a C k b is a c and j is b c bar. So, that means, if we again this is my clock. So, this is my clock and it is shared to 3 flip flops. Then this is my a and this is a bar. this is my A, this is A bar, J A, C, B, this is 1, C, A, A bar, C bar. So, in this case we need 2 extra gates, 2 extra gates with J K flip flop. Now, if we do the implementation with D flip flop, simple D flip flop, then then it will be that logics are d c equal to a, d b equal to a bar c bar plus b bar and d a is b bar c bar. So, if we first we compute d b, so this is my 
d b so this will be b bar c b bar and then a bar c bar so another is this is a bar and this is c bar so as if this is my d b what is my d a my d a will be b c bar so this is b and this is this is c bar and if again if i consider three d flip flops three d flip flops then this input is a this input is d b this is my c this is my c bar this is my b this is my b bar this is my d a and this clock because one single input this is my clock clock goes to every flip flop. So, actually this is my count with every count it will generate the circuit as a and this is my a bar. So, you see here here also three logic gates are needed three logic gates are needed, but this is the flip flop is all always uh, very much suited for VLSI implementation because it has only one input and this is the simplest flip flop as last day we have read. So, here also we have seen that three logic gates that is needed for RS flip flop here also three extra logic gates are needed, but the literals are minimum minimum literals are there literal count is uh, less. So, uh, we have seen a uh, one, uh, uh, one counter design, one five state counter design uh, with three different type of flip flops mainly the RS flip flop, JK flip flop and D flip flop. Now, we see the uh, today's quiz that first one is which flip flop its lowest gate counts and which flip flop its best literal counts, which flip flop is best suited for VLSI implementation. Thank you. last two classes we have read uh, how to design the synchronous sequential design. Now, um, today we will read uh, the finite state machine design again that is a uh, sequential machine and synchronous sequential machine. Before that we quickly uh, see the answers of the uh, lecture 23 quiz. Now, the questions were which flip flop yields uh, lowest gate counts and as already we have read JK flip flops, D flip flops, RS flip flops and we, we have seen that JK flip flops yield lowest gate count. Now, which flip flop yields best literal counts? The most popular the D flip flops yield lowest literal count and which flip flop is best suited for VLSI implementation? Again D flip flop is best suited for VLSI implementation.